So here's a before and after test of using Chrono IK to clean up animations. So right now I've got full body biped IK off. I've already got it all rigged. So you'll see what the animation looked like on this character before I did any cleanup on them. So this was a Mixamo crying animation that I grabbed and put on them. So the feet are drifting all over the place. The hands are very far away from the face. And it just makes it feel very inauthentic. So when you look down at the feet here, you'll see that those are drifting all over. So she's jumping all over the place. When you look up here at the head, you'll see how the hands are just very rigid and the arms are very rigid too. That's how all that movement is. So since I've already got that on, I'm going to go ahead and just turn on the final IK stuff on here now. So you'll see both the feet are pinned in position here while the rest of her body moves around and both of her hands are pinned to a place that's parented on her head. So it makes it so that as she moves there, she's moving like she really would with her upper body and it makes this feel much more believable. Now, the default Mixamo animation had a very annoying mouth that was wide open there. The salsa stuff I applied on there for some reason is not overriding that. Though I did another test and I used some salsa stuff to override those. So I'll still need to do some more testing on some of that because I think we're using salsa for our current blabbering. So I'll turn it off again here. You see how she's jumping all over the place. Feet are drifting there and it just makes it feel fake when she glides all over. But just going over here and turning some pinning on, this feels much more believable than the previous stuff. So um, the basic setup for it is uh, once this scene stops I'll run through what I actually did on the character to make that work. So we've got a full body biped IK here. For the left and the right arm, there's a left hand and a right hand crying position. Those are both parented onto the head. So those are the places where our hands go to. And I changed rotation on one of those in order to make it feel like it was more natural how it was on her head. Same thing if we go up here and we look down at the feet. We've got the same thing for left and right. So the foot effectors here, position and rotation weight are set. And if we look at these right up here, those are just the locations where, including rotation, where I wanted the feet. So it felt like that was natural with how it was set up. So I put those four game objects, put those on a full body biped IK on here, and it cleaned her up a ton. That was maybe 10 minutes of work getting everything set up there. Now, of course, she was already humanoid at that point. So there's the IK cleanup I was talking about. There we go.